Birchud Morab Rabotai. Good morning to everybody. It's another beautiful day. Uh, we find in the book of Shemot, chapter 6, Pasuk 10, Hashem speaks to Moshe. Moshe, come to Paro. Go to Paro and ask him to let the Jews leave the Mitzrayim. This is the first time God is speaking to Moshe Rabbeinu about leaving the Mitzrayim. God is very confident that Paro is going to listen to you. At the, but we see the next, as the Pasuk goes on, Moshe is not confident. Moshe is saying, what if, I don't know if Paro is going to listen to me. I don't even know if my own people will listen to me. I'm not a man of words. I don't know, I'm not a good speaker. I stutter. How do you expect Paro to listen to me? Hashem is telling me with confidence, go to Paro, speak to Paro, ask him to let the people know, and he'll let them go. Let them go. You have to do your shtadlut. But at the same time, Moshe Rabbeinu is doubting himself. So Moshe, when Moshe goes in front of the people and wants to speak to people, tell them, you know what, guys? No more slavery. We're going to leave Mitzrayim soon because God said so. How many people believed to him? Not that many because he wasn't confident in his speech. You could tell when a person is confident, when a person is not confident. Sometimes people talk just, okay, I'm talking because I have to say it, you know. But, but you be do you believe in your own words? Do you believe that people will listen to you? Do we believe in the power of our own words? It's like when a person goes for a job interview, a guy tells me he has a two college degrees. Three years, cannot find a job. Do you go to interviews? Yes. Can I see your resume? Excellent. Perfect. I loved his resume. One of the best resumes. Why can't you find a job? He goes to interviews almost every single day. Not every single day, two, three times a week. Do you believe you're going to get a job this week? I don't know. Why would somebody hire me? No. You are doubting yourself. If you're not confident in yourself, why would somebody, why would someone, why would somebody want to hire a person that is not confident? Why would somebody want to marry a person that's not confident? Why would somebody want to go in a business partnership with somebody that's not even sure in themselves? So a per when you go, I told him, when you go for an interview, you have to believe it. Yes, of course they're going to hire me. I have a good looks. I'm a good speaker. People love me. People want to be in my surroundings. People respect me. I'm intelligent. I'm smart. Of course I'll get a job. Otherwise, he could continue still going for interviews. You'll never find a job. Same thing, people go on a date. Years and years and years people go on a date. Do you believe it's going to work out? Do you believe you're going to find it soon? You, are you confident? I don't know if she's going to like me. I don't know if he's going to be attracted with doubt. That's why things do not work out in life. Hashem is telling Moshe, Moshe, go speak to Paro to let the people go. And Moshe is doubting. We cannot judge because uh, we cannot judge Moshe because we go through the same steps. It's just a great lesson for us. Moshe, I'm not sure if my own people will listen to me. Why do you expect to Paro to listen? Moshe speaks to people that not too many people listen to him. Not too, too, too many people believe in him. So Moshe goes to Paro, as Hashem insisted. When he stands in front of Paro, Paro didn't take it too seriously either. And that's why Moshe had to come back so many times. We went through ten plagues. The whole Yitziat Mitzrayim coming out of Egypt could have done, happened just in one plague. One Makkah. Two max. But not ten. Why did it take such a long process? Moshe is still doubting. Not, I don't know if Paro is going to take me seriously. Maybe I'm not young enough. Maybe I'm not handsome enough. Maybe I'm not tall enough. Maybe I'm not intelligent enough. We always try to find faults in ourselves. Besides those faults, we always try to find faults in people that are around us. Let's find not our faults. Let's find our success. Let's use the word yes more in our minds. Yes, the word yes, because most of the time we use we have the word. The word that we have in our minds is no. I don't know and no. Yes. I'll make it. Yes, I'll be successful. Yes, I'll get a job. Yes, I'll find a soulmate. Yes, I'll be successful. Yes, I'll make a fi money. Yes, I'll get a job. Let's use the word yes, which is a very strong word. When Hashem tells you, you want to be healed, we know the secret of being, being healed. Tehillim. Do you believe when you read Tehillim? I don't know. Okay, I have no choice. You know, it doesn't hurt. doesn't hurt. I could read the Tehillim. Shmona Esra. Shmona Esra 18. 18 is high. It's life. In Shmonez, we have all those blessings that you need to survive through Galut. Do we believe in them? No, not so much. Okay, why are you reading Shmonez? Okay. You know, my father used to read those, that's why I'm reading it. Do you believe in it? Oh, not too many people. If we would believe in it, life would be different. 
will be more, much more successful. Let's start believing in ourselves. Let's start believing more into Hashem. Let's start believing in the power of the prayers. Everybody shall have a blessed day.